Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be making galaxy light bulbs. So I saw this mold on Amazon. It is by Let's Resin. You get this whole kit to make your own resin light bulbs. So we're gonna be making three galaxy inspired resin light bulbs. Apparently they're gonna work. I have no idea, actually I do. Because I actually just finished filming this video, I actually have the light bulbs right off screen here. I'm so excited for you guys to see these. The whole concept is pretty interesting, so stick around uh, to see. I'm gonna make three resin light bulbs galaxy theme, and if these actually work, like these light bulb kits, I feel like I've been seeing them everywhere. So we're gonna go over to my desk. We're gonna get started on mixing up some resin, mixing in some gorgeous glitters, some stars. We're gonna do this project and then I will meet you right back here. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna get started on this project. So the resin that I'm using in this video is the Counterculture DIY casting resin and it is the pink and purple label. I use this for nearly everything. Also, the reason that I'm mixing up so much at once is because I had some other projects I was working on, so we're not using all of this resin for the light bulbs, but I am using it in other stuff. So that's why there's so much going on here. But yeah, the reason I'm using this resin is because it is a casting resin, so it's literally for casting objects. It's great for deeper pores like these. So I did get these little silicone cups out to mix up the different colors. Because like I said at the beginning, we are gonna be doing three different colored light bulbs. And I also mixed in some glitter, some star glitter. It's super pretty. So I am going in with alcohol ink and I usually do this. I know I talked about this when we did the Dragon Balls, but whenever I want something like a color to be sort of like transparent, I use alcohol ink. So I'm just mixing those alcohol ink colors in with my silicone mixing stick. So for the greenish blue color and the pink color, I added two drops of alcohol ink, but then for the purple, it was so much lighter, so I added a bunch of more drops to get the color I wanted, and it came out really pretty. And these are the glitters I ended up choosing. So the Glitz and Glam one has like little iridescent stars and then the other one is like a really fine holographic glitter. So I'm just getting a tiny bit of both of these glitters onto the popsicle stick and just sprinkling that in. And then I also used another like mica. Here it is. Uh, it's from Solar Color Dust and it changes from like a green to yellow. It's so pretty. So now I'm just mixing all this together. Look at this. Look at, oh my God, I had to slow it down because it was just that mica, that last thing that I added, the chameleon pigment, freaking stunning, perfection. So we're gonna bring in the molds now and so these are the silicone molds they're super cute so I did end up doing two of like the more rounded ones and then one of the cylindrical ones every single kit that I found online for light bulb molds had two different shapes what if you wanted three of the same shape or four of the same shape whatever so anyway, <laughs> this is uh, the molds and I'm just pouring the resin that I mixed up into the molds and I ended up not mixing up enough of each color, but I did have like some clear resin left over so I was able to fill them and that was totally fine. So I did end up filling them all the way to the top in one pour, like I didn't do this in multiple pours because these light bulbs are kind of small and I honestly I was really just like testing it too to see if it would be okay. So I mean every resin is different but it did end up working for the resin that I used. Alright 
All right, you guys, welcome back. <laughs> so it is time to assemble the light bulbs. Well, I mean, we have to pop them out first, which I'm so excited to pop these out. The colors for these could not have come out any cuter. We're gonna start popping these out and then we're gonna assemble the light bulbs. I also have a light to put them into. Look at this light, look how cool it is. Like, they kind of dangle around. It's perfect because it's got three lights on. It's gonna, this whole you know what, I think I'm gonna change up the angle so that you guys can just like see my hands do the things, uh, pop things out because I feel like doing this is just, it always wants to focus on my face. So we're gonna switch up the angle so I can show you guys how I'm going to assemble these light bulbs. All right, so we've got our three light bulbs here. I'm gonna start popping them out. I'll probably start with the purple one just because I feel like it's gonna be the easiest one to pop out, hopefully. Yes, yes. You just like roll it down. Look how cute it is. The color is perfect. The mold is actually pretty shiny. Oh my God, I feel like you guys aren't even like, the camera is totally not doing this justice. All right, so now we're gonna pop one of these out and I, I just, I'm nervous about it. So maybe if I do the same like rolling technique that I just did, it won't be so bad. Keep rolling, it won't come out. <laughs> yes! Ooh, oh my god, the color of this one too. It's so pretty. All right, last one. The same rolling technique. Yes, <laughs> basically just like shoots out. This blue color is so pretty and the, the freaking mica that I used is so cool it's like the perfect kind of mica to do some kind of like galaxy looking piece because it just like swirls around so pretty in there all right so we have our three light bulbs here so now i have my box of little pieces that we're gonna have to attach so these are like you know the little metal like caps that will go on the end and then you get these like little led chips you only get four which is kind of weird but whatever and then you also get a set of directions with this so i'm just gonna kind of flip through this and see how you assemble this i'm gonna take one of these little led chips so it says remove the plastic sheet and put the led chip into the cap so i think we take this little piece out oh wait it goes the other way there we go oh, oh it just literally instantly turns on okay then i'm gonna get one of my caps putting that in there just like that, and then uh, put the cap on and apply UV resin. Wait, what? Ugh. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna go get some. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some UV resin. I did not know that this required UV resin, but I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with all the things. If I sound muffled, it's because I have my respirator on. Because now we're working with resin, apparently. Okay, so now that this is in the cap, it is kind of like loose in there, but we're supposed to put it onto the light bulb like that, and like right where, like right at the seam here, where the cap meets the resin. I'm just gonna put a little bit of UV resin, just kind of like spread that around, and you put the cap back on. And then you use your UV light to cure it. And now it's apparently secured on there. So that is what this one looks like. Look how cute it is! I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for all the light bulbs and finish them off. And then I will come back to you guys. Okay, so we have our three light bulbs all assembled. Look how adorable they are all together. So one thing I'm gonna say right off the bat and I'm sure some of you are already thinking this, since we UV resined these caps onto the light bulbs, once those like little watch batteries die, there's no like changing out the battery and, and once they die, they're dead forever. So also I imagine they're gonna die pretty quick because the way that you turn them on is you like touch it or tap it and they are so easily turned on like, <laughs> you can turn them on pretty easy so just by like nothing basically like just the lightest little movements but they are really really pretty looking i'm gonna bring my light in so yeah this is the light i bought and don't yell at me 
that it's gold. Like, girl, why would you buy a gold lamp for like galaxy themed light bulbs? I didn't. I bought black. And then they sent me gold. So, you know, and I didn't have time to send it back and get a new one. Don't, don't, just don't. Gold is fine. All right, so I'm gonna start screwing these in. Wow, look, oh my gosh, you can't even see it. Look how cute this little light bulb is. And that is what the blue one looks like. Pretty adorable. I feel like I'm gonna have to take away my backdrop so that you guys can see what this actually looks like. All right, so I took away my like flower backdrop because I feel like there was just too many colors. You couldn't see the actual light bulbs, like how cute they look. So another thing that I know you guys are thinking, I'm a mind reader now. I don't have to plug this lamp in for these light bulbs to work. And I know that that seems kind of silly, but it is really cute, and like I said, once these batteries, these little watch batteries, inside the caps die, like that's kind of it. So I'll probably take these light bulbs out and like display them as something cool. All right, so here are some close-up shots and hopefully some night shots of these light bulbs in action. you guys final thoughts on these light bulbs <laughs> the mold idea super cool the actual little light chips they stay on for maybe like 15 seconds something like that maybe 30 seconds and then they all turn off on their own so they kind of have like their own timer which I mean again I think I've said this like a thousand times but they're on like a little watch battery so maybe that's so the battery doesn't die as fast because we can't replace the battery. So anyway, mold idea, super, super cool. You can also, you don't have to do the whole light thing. You can literally just make like a really cool light bulb and put whatever you want in there and not have to do the whole li actual light thing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> God, my eyebrows so itchy. <laughs> hey everyone, while well, I stab myself. <laughs> so I will go I'll play. <laughs> You tap the pink one to turn the blue one on. <laughs>